Hello and welcome to your week commencing the 4th of January horoscope forecast for the sun or the ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please also check out your year 2021 personal horoscope forecast and character analysis combination based on your time, date and place of birth, totally unique to you. This will give you searing insights as to what the next 12 months holds for you. From the time of order, you'll get full 12 months. So please don't think you're going to miss out on anything. Please see the link beneath this video for more information. Hello Capricorn and welcome. Thank you for joining me. Now your in-depth forecast for week commencing the 4th of January sees Mars, the planet of passion, which has been in a really awkward part of your scope for the last six months and recently been in shadow, so it's not been functioning at its best. It's been going slower than for many a moon, even though it's Mars. And by Wednesday, it emerges into your sister Earth sign of Taurus. This is something really worth celebrating. It's going to see you feeling much more outgoing, much more full of a joie de vivre. And if it's a creative project you want to get cracking with, or it is around your desire to get a bit fitter, or perhaps it is around your love life, Mars brings passion to all those areas in the following six weeks. Now it is true that there are a lot of movers and shakers this week. Not least Mercury is combining in your sign with Pluto. An individual idea of yours may require some really detailed thinking at the start of this week, but you can see how progress is being made by the end of this week as Mercury transits into the sign of Aquarius and goes alongside your ruler. Now, around finance, although you have been uh, doing uh, your level best to try to manifest whatever it is that's very unique to you, that part of you that can be a tad conventional and a tad adhered to what the expectations of the wider world is, has been challenged in some ways. But now you're being really given the opportunity to measure how far you've come in that journey, which is all about validation. It's about just being true to yourself. It doesn't matter what I think your journey should be, it's what you think. And I think Mercury conjunct Saturn and Jupiter is saying, if you really have put in the work, you can see some financial rewards. What you don't want to be doing is then squandering any gains on splashing out money on big ticket items or spoiling those look close to you on an impetuous basis, which is possible with Jupiter and Mercury in a direct square with Mars. Now, intriguingly, Saturn and Mars in a square is a much more inhibited energy. So there could be an opportunity for you to go and invest some money or do something a bit daring that you may have sort of a few doubts about, and that's Saturn just anchoring you down and your core nature. But as the week draws to a close, a period where you may have felt quite melancholy in some ways, perhaps very sentimental about people from the past, people you've not been able to see, perhaps because of COVID restrictions, Venus moves into your sign as this week draws to a close, forges a gorgeous alliance with Mars, and you are just going to be giving it large. Your energy can draw so much goodness to you. Your sex appeal absolutely skyrockets as this week draws to a close. Enjoy the attention. It could bring someone new into your world. It could revitalize an existing relationship. It could give you the confidence to strut your stuff more assertively going forwards.